Hello fellow travelers, I am Malo and welcome to this channel! This is no presentation video so I'll go straight to the point, but make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out what's coming next, which will be a lot regarding my 3D modeling and printing activity, obviously a lot about other wilds, but can be also many other things in the future as well. I share the main information about what I do on my Twitter page, but I have also created a Discord server on which we can talk all together about everything, which can be out of wilds, my work, uh, I also post some updates about uh, the shop, about uh, my YouTube videos, and maybe also something else really soon. All of the relevant links are available in the video description. As you read in the title, I'll explain to you how I made um, this little mask, and I'll explain it to you in the order that I made it, which is first make the 3D model, then 3D print it, then making the LED circuits, and finally, assemble everything. Let's get started! So the first step has been to create the 3D model along with taking references in-game. It's not for nothing that I have like 216 hours on Steam. Many parts from the mask actually had complex shapes, like the branches, which are slightly twisted, and the mask not being flat, like with many parts having different inclinations. It took me around 3 weeks to finish the model. And while modeling, I was also figuring out what materials I'd need, finding the correct filament colors, how I'd manage the LEDs, etc. My 3D modeling software named Fusion 360 records by default the history of all of your changes, and allows you to see the time lapse, so I leave you to it. Once done modeling, or at least for the main part, as there are always adjustments to do all along the making of it, I then had to 3D print it. Hopefully I received earlier this year my Pruja XL, which has 5 print heads, so with it I'm able to print bigger pieces with up to 5 different colors at a time. The mask actually ended up being capricious to print. It once failed mid-print, then at around 90% but I just couldn't keep losing time and materials because just the mask almost takes 2 days of printing on its own and almost 1 kilogram of filament, which is around 25 euro. So I have just printed the remaining upper part. The branches from the middle also didn't want to print properly, so I had to print them in 3 parts to glue together afterwards. So before assembling everything, I took care of the LED circuit. For this I used some programmable LEDs and an Arduino Uno Rev3. I have needed almost 10 meters for it, so two LED spools. I started with an existing program I found online that was only doing some like fading in and out, and I have adapted it so it applies it to only a part of the strip and so it moves along it. One complex thing to handle was to keep the moving effect so it remains smooth when going back from the end of the strip to the start. I also had to take into account that I needed a few of the last LEDs to not be part of the moving area as they were intended for the eyes, which have to be constantly enlightened. I made this program so it's easily customizable where I can, with one single change, modify the illuminated part's length, but also the length of the tips which have to appear and disappear with a fading effect. If you're interested, you can find the program for free in the video description. So just before going into assembling everything, I've built the LED circuits, which is basically a very long strip with smaller ones to link into it for the few branches along the way. Now for the fun part! 
I started by gluing the hexagon parts together, then I applied the LEDs all along. Once applied everywhere, I could just hide them with the white covers. These covers should actually be the same beige color, but I tried making them as thin as possible and it was still too opaque. So I went for this pearl white that I also use for my Echoes of the Eyes lanterns. I really find it to be a great compromise. Now to test the lights. And it looks awesome! I then glue the bronze block going at the top. The LED strip still has the LEDs for the eyes, so I need to have this part to go into the block to be behind the mask. I also put some tape over the cables, so they don't risk being damaged when I put the bronze square in the middle. Now I can pass the cables into the block's hole, and I can glue my Arduino board inside of it. Once all good, I can just glue the block in the middle. It wasn't the easiest to make sure no cables were underneath, but I managed. I can then glue the back cover from the mask. And the next part is to put the LEDs around each eyes. Then I'm free to glue everything. As my mask had its upper part missing, I glued it at this moment. I have then prepared the branches that I just have to glue in their respective slots. And that's it! The mask is over! Now I just have to hang it on my wall. I did some holes in the back, so we can just slide it in some screws on the wall. So I just have to, uh, to insert it. Well, uh, this was uh, kinda hard to align the holes for such a big item, but I made it! Now switching it on... I'm definitely not good at exploding from joy, but I can tell you I was internally. I really still can't realize I have this on my wall, but uh, I just love how, so much how it looks. And that's it for this making of. I hope this very first video will please you. Don't hesitate to give me all of your comments and feedbacks, uh, whether in the video comments or on Twitter or on, or on Discord, anywhere you want. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to read all of you and uh, I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye-bye.